In this video, I'm going to show you how I became an expert at Buster by pushing him to rank 30 with only randoms the entire time. So I hope you enjoy. Now, the first order of business was to unlock Buster and max him all the way to rank 11. Now, this is pretty expensive and pushing with randoms is pretty painful sometimes. So if you guys can smash that like button and subscribe right now, I'll do more of these videos in the future. But now it's time to start getting into the push. So the first order of business with any new brawler is to start learning the mechanics and that's exactly what we did from zero to 300 trophies all we did was test around to see how op buster really was and let's just say i could tell buster was busted oh sh here we go again now we did have one slip up in the first of 300 trophies i may have jinxed myself pretty hard new challenge inside the challenge we're gonna try to get rank 30 without losing a single game with randoms it might be hard because you will probably face another buster um uh, but you know, let me just casually heal all like this. This could get difficult. I, I love how I just jinxed it. Buster counters Buster. <laughs> and at this point, I started to learn how to play Buster. The first thing is you need to play with your teammates. You want to use your shield with them behind you so they can get some free shots off without taking any damage. And the other thing is if you're close to your teammates, you also get a ton of healing with your gadget. Go. Oh. Grab it. Yes. Finally. For every extra person you have inside of your circle, your gadget gains a thousand extra health and that can end up being a 9,000 burst healing, which is absolutely broken. So in my opinion, Buster is just a better version of Poco that has a shield that also does a ton of damage and even more HP than Poco does. Now, even with Buster being absolutely busted, you still can't control your random teammates and that was going to be the difficulty of this challenge. They're lagging. Shoot. Oh my god, this is not looking... Who said it blocks the Gale Super? I literally just blocked it. Twice, and it didn't work. Ten seconds later. Please! We lost. Holy, we lost. Alright, give me the ball. Nice. However, since Buster was so OP, we managed to get to about 800 trophies before we actually really lost any sort of games. We might have lost one or two along the way, but at this point, it started to get a little tougher. Now, at this point in the push, I started to also figure out what matchups were kind of difficult for Buster. The brawlers that I found that were somewhat difficult to play were against tanks paired with a Poco. Jackie, especially for some reason, was just a little bit harder than all the other tanks, in my opinion. Uh, Griff, Ems, Gale, Colette, Surge, and Otis were all decent brawlers versus is Buster. Now, I know this might sound like a lot of brawlers that counter Buster. However, these brawlers don't even hard counter Buster, in my opinion. Some of them do better than others, but the fact is that Buster can still play around these brawlers and still be very, very strong inside of a game. It's just a little bit trickier. Now, also at this point, if you guys have any specific questions you want to ask about Buster, feel free to drop them down in the comments down below. I'll answer as many questions as possible. Now, while I was doing this push, I was also kind of racing to be number one in Canada. Now, at the time, I was sitting in fourth now unfortunately canada is not the most competitive region on the leaderboards but we do pretty well in competitive but either way i also thought it was pretty cool that oj was number seven at the time so good job oj now since i was only about 20 to 30 trophies behind first it was time for me to sweat i started to win games super fast and along the way there were a few interesting moments pick go for it oh my god that was the only spot you couldn't shoot it how do people mess that up so bad? Okay, well, he just... I don't know what's going on. This is 800 trophies, boys. Some epic saves. I don't think I can stop this. Please! Oh my god. That was a go-to roll from Daryl. I don't know where that Nita is. Okay, kill Nita. That's a kill. We gotta kill the bear. Okay, does Daryl score this? Score! Yes! Oh my god, we won that game. Cool plays. That is kind of toxic. <laughs> I didn't want to, I wanted to score. Alright, that's another win. And a few mistakes. 
No, I missed! It was a hard shot. Uh, Bulls got a clutch up now. But soon enough, I was closing in on the rank 30. And I won't lie to you guys, I lost quite a few games along the way. No, I need some assistance. No! No, dude. But at this point, we finally made it to one game away. No, 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 Please, please, please stop getting wrecked on that side. Bulls got it, though. Bulls got the lockdown. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. No! What are you doing? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're doing it. Yes. Pick up the ball, put it in the net, let's go! One more game! One more game! Holy! Can we start walking up? Well, that was so worth. They might actually be able to score, they don't get any damage with Shelly dead, that's a goal! Here we go! One more! Alright guys, trust. Walk on this side, Shelly has super, but you just tank it like this? Oh no. Oh no. No. He got pulled. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Frank. Come on, Frank. We gotta break out of this, guys. No! Okay, no, come on. Please, no. Please, no. I got her. I got the shit. They're dead. They're both dead. That's game. There's no way they both die. No, dude. No. Uh. And well, I know what you guys are thinking. It's not a big deal that we lost that game. We're still close to rank 30. Well, no. Tora! Okay, that was so far. We got the kill. Don't pass him the ball. Why did you pass them the ball? Oh my god, the only place you can't put the ball is right in the middle of the right in the middle! And well, we lost again, meaning we had to gain our way back and start winning a couple more games. And every game loss is an extra so much time to get back to where we were. But finally, after some gruesome games, we were again one game away. Whole Brock Super. One more game. One. More. Game. Now at this point, we've been streaming for over six hours and we had a scrim coming up. So we really wanted to win this game and finish the push. A few mistakes were made from me and my teammates and what we lost in overtime. And that meant the push had to continue. <laughs> Luckily this time we bounced back pretty quick. We win the next two games, bringing us once again, one game away. Go, 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 go. This is it. Yes. Bull, you're the absolute goat! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Who is that? Look at that! That should be an underdog! Level 7 bull, 6 bull, whatever, 9 bull. And well, of course, our final game we played against probably the best comp in the game at the time, Poco, Buster, and Rosa. Why is this a thing? Why do they have such a stupid comp? Why do they have such a stupid comp? Who's playing this comp? Now this comp was basically unbeatable and to top it all off, after we lost, we found out that we were facing the pro team AC Milan Clash from Latam, the number one team in Latam. So once again, we were set back and now we were really running out of time. At this point, my teammates even joined my stream because I was already late to the scrim and I could tell they were pretty annoyed with what they were saying in chat. So I decided at this point, if I lose one more time, I was done with the push and I would just go scrim with them because I already felt bad enough for being late. So at this point, it was do or die for me. And luckily, I went on to win every single game until... I don't have time to raid. I just want to hurry up. How did that go so awkward? 
please. For the last time, I was one game away. If I lost, the challenge was over and I would fail. And if I win, I would feel pretty accomplished and my teammates would still be pretty mad, but I would finally make it to the scrim. But nevertheless, here is the final game. We got a sweaty comp, we got a sweaty comp. That's it. One more, one more goal. They're all dead. Game over. Game over. Finally, we're done. And finally, after seven and a half hours of pushing with randoms, we finally got Buster to rank 30. We also hit number one in Canada on the leaderboards. These videos usually take me a lot of time, so if you guys really did enjoy it, it helps out a ton. But either way, hope to see you in the next video. Peace.